Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. So last time a few Neil of Guardians unfortunately met their ends at the uh, at the hands of some ghouls. Maybe some <laughs> Well they died. They were ripped apart, they were killed here, and we were just laughing at them while they were dying. And we also uh well had some popcorn. Like it was a pretty good show. And it really cracked up the, the, well, the morale. Look at that. We're all happy now. Wait. The bridge! What happened here? So I would need to go back. I don't really like how all over the place uh, this is. Wait a second. This is... Oh my god, the bridge is destroyed here too? Well, this is good information. Horse! Horse, tell me! Why is the bridge destroyed? Horse! Stop playing that! You piece of shit. I'm talking to you. This is just plain rude. But, okay, never mind that. So we do know that this bridge and this bridge is destroyed. So we just need to go back. Which doesn't sound too great. But we're going back. Just just a good old-fashioned way. Because why not? And uh, I'm going to go toward the main quest. I'm not sure how exactly we're going to go. Uh, through that bridge, if we ever gonna go through that bridge. Uh, but we most certainly can go uh, toward the main quest. And I don't have to worry about... Psst. 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 What? What's near you? Anyway. Have, have we not passed this way before? No. Scouts say no, your grace. They mark the trees. Elves could have erased the marks, or left new ones where we've yet to tread. Best to follow the sun. Only way not to lose your bearings. <clears throat> your Majesty, these are the ruins of an Alvin temple. Cracks in its walls have uh, revealed it holds valuable treasures, as well as monsters. But we can send our entire army to fight them. We can't send our entire army to fight them, but a small detachment should manage to push through. The question is, but it's worth the risk. Send Ike. <laughs> Ike, go! Ike, where are you? Never mind that. Anyway, uh, just give me some gold. Who cares about some uh, helmets? Wait, what? Pick that up. <clears throat> what we have here? Uh, yep. Let's pick up the hand. What? Oh, come on. Ah. Uh. I'm tempted to play this game without picking up anything. Not, uh, not the best part. Ma uh, Meet the Hoarder. <clears throat> picking up everything. I swear she's worse than some adventure uh, game protagonist. Who just has everything in their inventory. Meave is like, ooh, look at that, a plank. I'll take that. But gold, I can't really blame her for picking up gold. But I kind of bl blame the other people for leaving gold around. Meave was riding at the head of the caravan when Black Raylo rode up and leaned towards her. She spoke in a whisper, a hand shielding her mouth. Your Grace, I have something important to tell you. Yet you can't show anything's amiss. Look straight ahead. Make no sudden moves. Meave nodded slightly and waited for her to continue. Scoia tells scouts in the woods, watching us. Eldane's near here somewhere, preparing his attack. I see. So... So what do you propose? Asked the Queen, her gaze fixed on the road ahead. Let him catch us out in the open. We're sitting ducks. But there are ruins nearby, an elven cemetery. We can find cover behind its walls. Meave was accustomed to discussing important decisions with all her advisors. But she knew there was no time for consultation now. She had to trust Black Rayla's advice, and so, without further delay, issued the appropriate orders. I do trust Black Rayla to uh, lead me on a path of uh, maximum Scoyatel extermination. Eve's retinue reached the cemetery before dusk. Her soldiers knocked down the marble statuary and piled <laughs> them into barricades, while scouts took up positions outside the walls to watch for the foe's approach. When the sun set, the woods exhaled the heat of the day, and a thick fog soon arose. Out of the mist stepped Reynard's scouts, bound and pushed forward by elves. 
one of the Scoia'tael, a sturdy elf with long hair, stood by the cemetery wall and cried, Cried what? I am Eldane. I would speak to Meave. What do you have a... Uh, that... What is that? Fuck. I don't know what that is currently. God damn it. I just knew it like one second ago. Whatever. Uh, that doesn't seem quite appropriate for you. I am she. Speak. Oh, look at that. I just showed up in my two best friends. I am she. Speak. Uh, I mean, that's an odd way to introduce yourself, but sure. Cadmil and Kedva Genved, Rena. This place is of great import to us, the Enshe. You see, Aldane, you know, uh, why the why the hell do you speak Elvish to me? This is like a common thing, just to just for the elves, just to remind other people that they are elves. But it it's just like a complete waste of a uh, half of a sentence. No way. That's why we came here and, and just uh, banged up the place. I would tell you of its monuments, of the Weeping Ensevern, carved by three generations of sculptors, or of the alabaster relief of King Kellad, so beautiful even the birds would gather to admire it. Seems like you're quite nostalgic. But I see your men have found our memorials, and in the way of Dwan, destroyed them without a second thought. Yep. I can't say I I can take credit for personally destroying anything, but I I, I kind of enjoyed it. I was sitting on some uh, tombstone of some old chick. I don't know who she is, but it looked like nonsense to me. I cannot say this comes as a surprise. You've already shown the gods molded you from the basest of matter. Oh, are you just gonna go with petty insults or are we gonna fight? You murdered injured soldiers who no longer posed you any threat. Yep. Well, technically she did it. You agreed to lynch an entire village without trial. Now, you kind of have a point too. And I will kill you too. Get to the point, Eldane. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is your point, man? I don't get it. <laughs> it's like, so what? So what, Eldane? <laughs> it's like, I don't see anything wrong with that. So I shall. As you certainly know, the necropolis is surrounded. Soon, there shall be a battle. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for it. But it is unseemly to fight in a cemetery. So I ask you to come out into the open. No, it's so convenient. Don't you want to guys? Don't you guys want to die in a convenient place? You're gonna rot, rot anyway. Like we're gonna let you rot after we loot you, but like at least you're gonna be closer to your ancestors. Do you really want to rot in the? I don't know, just the middle of the forest, in the mud or whatever. I don't know where you wanna exactly die. Surrender our tactical advantage. Reynard, you stupid. That's not how you talk to him. You gotta... Come on. You, you just acknowledge that we have a tactical advantage in the cemetery. Now he's gonna be even more hesitant to come uh, and attack us. I suspected a matter so impractical as respecting the dead would mean nothing to you, Duan. So I submit one more argument. The lives of the soldiers you sent to spy. Well, are you gonna give us give them back right away? If you leave the cemetery, I shall set them free. They will fight at your side. If not, I shall kill them here and now. Well, I'm okay with that. That that improves the, the morale lady, too. Don't listen to him. He can't be trusted. Ah, uh, Rayla, those are good men. Fabian, get it, Matthias. They've served me for a decade. They'd crawl through seven hells for their queen. They do not deserve such a death. Three dudes? Only three dudes? Alright, I'm a soft heart. Alright, deal. I accept your conditions. Your grace, I beg you. We can beat him. Soldiers! We march into the field! Eldane clasped his hands in thanks. Then, 
in a swift, almost careless movement, slit the throat of the scout standing nearest to him. You should have listened to Rayla, your grace. We elves truly cannot be trusted. <laughs> Sparla! Well, at very least, this gives us the moral high ground. Even after I, I killed an entire village and like killed like a, a all the elves in the forest, except those who were just like, "Hey, you suck," said uh, by hiding in the behind trees or whatever. Also wiped out the cave. I just killed everybody who, who I I, I could actually find. So let's bring it on, Eldane. Short battle. Oh my god, it's gonna be a puzzle. Alright, Eldane. You you bastard. Are you gonna play your banjo now? So Do we have some oh it, it's just a it's just a short battle. Okay. Maybe that could be good. The Strace Bomber plus is good. But maybe we're just gonna play that later. Uh, Rain Odo is good, but we need some guys who actually work with Odo. Like a drummer. Uh, do I just go with this? It would be better to get another drummer. I warned you! Now we've lost the advantage! Come on! Uh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. I take full responsibility. You can't! I'm the one responsible. I chose this. And it's fine. It's a time to reap, a time to sow. It's time to die. Uh, I'll just kill that. Spawn Alvin Cutthroat on the range row, then lock the lowest enemy and move it to adjacent to the Alvin Cutthroat? What? That's pretty good. Got business for me. Probably I should have read that first. Uh, let's just go with the Leer inside, man. Destroy the lost enemy. To humans! I think we still have time. Listen to me, old I guess we're gonna go with that. Hopefully, we're just fine, and then we gotta play a Rivian Pikeman. Soldiers, we could have spared them that death. It seems like I'm just making mistakes here. Okay, let's restart. This is annoying. <laughs> uh, no. That's good. Uh, maybe we don't want that. If I could get... Well, we already got two... Order units. These could be good, but we can't start with the Lyrian Sightman. We do want to play the Pikemans. Trace Bomber is good, but maybe we want to play it later. That's definitely not what we want. Arbalest is fine. Okay, this is a fine hand. I warned you. Now we've lost the advantage. It's fine. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. Raynard, shut the I fuck take up! Full responsibility. Unbelievable. Uh, let's just go with the Pikeman. We need a bunch of dudes. Uh, let's just wait with the flail. So now we are in a better spot. Got business for me. So we can go with the sightman. Hit the back. Then we go sightman again. Uh, maybe in the front. That's pretty strong. These are... The smugglers are really good. 
and it's not really possible that I kill the archer. Although, it might happen. If we do 7 damage to it, combined with Neve, that should do it. So, I think we're just gonna play a Scytheman. Next turn, we can do Lyrian Arbalest plus Meave. It's fine. So we go Arbalest. This is... That's actually six. No, this is only six because he stole a guy. Fuck me. But I can't do it now. We gotta do it a little later. What I can do is do a fake Florin. So that hits quite a bit. Well, it, would be it would be really nice to kill one of them, because it's an insane amount of points. Should we use the Smuggler? Should we use the Alvin Archer? Let's say we use the Alvin Archer. I should be able to kill it next turn. I was hoping you'd say that. I'm not as worried about the smuggler. It's still pretty damn strong, but one bolt. All right, we gotta kill units, and that is just fine. Your grace, our soldiers. We could have spared them that death. All right, thanks for that. Okay, you can just keep stealing trash. So these Riven Pikesmans are are really useful. So we gotta play the drummer. Army's a waste of time for one. Then he dies. Do I just get back my dude? That's pretty good. So I can get back my guy. I I don't think we have anything to fear here. So, regiment drummer. Well, Rayla can get out uh, the the drummer too. So I suppose Rayla gets played. We play out. That is fine. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Looks pretty good. Your folk were dead the moment they fell into Eldane's hands. Uh. Oh, stop stealing my dudes. Your best will avenge us, Dwan. On a fire trap. I'm really glad that we have Meave. So... We play out the regiment drummer, I think. Left, right, left, right. And we simply I gotta blow up the fire trap, so how much sure is there? I can boost the Rivian Pikeman. But I can also go for something like a Lyrian Horn. I don't want to do Reynard Odo right now. I think Lyrian Mallet is okay. I am definitely pretty optimistic about this. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's on the weak side. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. It's pretty handy. So Reynardo though gets we played. We must trust each other. And now we can just get out a bunch of crap. So that's seven. If we can kill the smuggler. Seems to be one of the stronger ones. Sure. I can also get at something specific. We can get at like the Stray's Bomber. Um, maybe I should have went with Arbalists. This seems pretty strong. Yeah. I can just hit the Neophyte. It's good enough points. Actually, we could have moved the banner. For some points, but that seems pretty good. You die here, Duan. How do you figure that? Does this guy know something that I don't? None shall tread on us. Okay. Punch him real hard. Yeah. Okay. Bring on my death. Uh oh, Eldane. Bina. Did you just call me a Bina? Piece of shit. That was uncalled for. That After really hurt. A long bloody battle. Eldane's unit was destroyed, and Eldane himself sat at Meeve's feet, defeated, and dying. Aww. To die in a cemetery. Something amusing in it, wouldn't you say? Yeah, let me think about it. Uh, I, I'm sure I can think of uh, another awesome joke that's just gonna keep uh, people uh, laughing for like weeks to come. Ah, uh, come on, Ray Ray Oh, Reynard, come on, help me out. <laughs> we need some help here. Alright, uh, sure. Eldane. I don't really care. I already offered this before. It's a pretty convenient place to die. Maybe in a few hundred years, think about it. The new elves will be saying, Oh my god, the mighty Eldane died here. He was such a hero. I will be laughing about you. I am surprised you are in the mood for humor. All my tears I shed years ago. My family killed in a massacre aimed at eradicating our race. Senseless. Utterly senseless. But you decided that you're gonna put a stop to the violence by... How are you gonna do it? By violence! Woo! Done and done. You could be just living in this forest. And just like avoiding people. And you know what would you have right now? Probably some village. Probably some, some other crap. Who knows? Maybe just laying low. Maybe hiding in the mine. And just laying low. Who knows? But what you got is just your death. And the death of everyone who followed you. And the most... The least excusable part of all of that. Is that you just get a bunch of young impressionable people on board. And they all die. So, ultimately they are to blame, but still. Reina, we have lost. Me, my Skoyatel, the Enche. We shall vanish from this earth. Sounds good. Your grandchildren will know us in fairy tales only. You seem to be missing the reality here. You're just so focused on the, the stories that... Even when you're dying, you're all about, ooh, I can't wait to be mentioned in like 500 years. I know I deceived you, but... What? 
You t you actually talking to me? It's kind of hard to tell, Dane. Lay my bones to rest in a grave. Let me part this world with dignity. Aga Dregared. Oh, please. <laughs> How dare he? Look, he laughs, your grace. This dog should rot in an open field. Aye. Need I mention the willow? The many strung from it. The many burned alive. I will not grant your burial. Ah, uh, you don't deserve mercy. I don't know what kind of mercy is that. You know, if I if I die, just well, I don't know. Put me in the trash, I guess. But just whatever. I don't really care for it too much. But Eldane, forget about it. You're not gonna be romanticized. Mercy, you don't deserve, Eldane. I shall leave you where you lie, where rats will gnaw at your bones. <laughs> In your boots, I would do the same. again. <laughs> Meave gave the order to march that very night, not waiting for the day to break. She wished to leave behind as soon as possible the Moulderwood and the rotting elven remains littering Kedva Genved Cemetery. Black Rayler rode at the head of the caravan to the Queen's right, a satisfied smile playing on her lips. Did we just leave him there? Alright, we got Mandrake, whatever that is. Alright, uh, just give me, give me that. Pick up all the stuff! Oh, Eldane is dead. All his men are dead. Killed in the cemetery. I'm not sure how it would have changed if we didn't... Oh, seems like we're just gonna take the scenic route. To where we're going. Alright. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.